Welcome back guys to Paper Mario. Now I know I said that we first stop would be the desert for this next episode, but I totally forgot that there's another part of town that I forgot to explore with you guys, and I forgot to explore the uh, coin room and things, so we're going to explore that before we head out to the desert. Hope you guys don't mind. There's a whole other part of town I didn't even explore with y'all. So I want to do that before we head out to the desert. These are the residential homes. Let's check them out. These toads just moved here. They like peace and quiet. They said they're enjoying living here so far. They think it's quite comfortable. Well, you could just listen to them yourself, Mario. Hey, you're Mario, right? We just moved in. We only just unpacked. It's like a dream come true. A quiet and gorgeous home all to ourselves. Ah, I'm so happy. Of course, happy as I am. I know these are sad times. I try not to act too jolly when I'm out in the mouth. Hey, I'm, hi, I'm new to the neighborhood. I never expected to be so nice and quiet in the big city. It cost me a small fortune in coins to get this place, but I think it was worth it. It's such a lovely house, isn't it? It sure is. Oh, wait. These toads just moved here. This is the first time they've lived in an actual town. I think they were worried that it'd be too noisy in town. The quiet area seems to suit them well. <coughs> this quiet area, I should say. Hmm. This is a residential area of China. It's mostly homes, but there's also a shop. For church town, this area is pretty quiet. This is Toad Town's Fort. It's home to the only restaurant in town. I like to stand at the end of the pier and gaze at the end of the sea. At the sea. He runs this restaurant. He just opened it. He also plays a mean guitar. I'm sure it'll be popular here. I'd like to come here one day with my whole family. I don't like fish, though. He writes songs. They call him Master Poet. He's a pretty cool guy. He's in love with Pop Diva. He's really worried about her. I know just how he feels. Mario, don't laugh. She's the singer, the Pop Diva. She is so beautiful. That big earthquake scared her so badly that she forgot how to sing. It's such a pity. Her voice is truly amazing. Yep, we lost a whole mess of glasses around here when the earthquake hit. Been cleaning ever since. It's a shame. Lots of fond memories in those glasses. Welcome to Club 64. How do you like the club, dude? Pretty posh, right? Yeah, my buddy there and I opened up last year. This club was broken here and there in that airspace, but no problem. We'll get it all fixed up in no time. He's the waiter at this run up. He said he's working here because he longs to be in your pop diva. He's really working hard. I bet he's working hard to try and impress her. I'm Simon. I'm writing to folks who know it. I'm the master poet. Pop diva cannot sing, but my lyrics are just the same. If my lyrics really rock, our pop people will be cured of shock. I'm tragically stuck though, because my last line's a no-show. Later, Pluminator. Mmm, hi. I'm Chanterelle. I'm known around here as the pop people of Toad Town. Oh, I used to be able to sing any song perfectly. Each note a masterpiece. Those days are behind me now. Perhaps forever. The sight of Peaches Castle flying high into the sky was such a shock, I haven't been able to sing since then. And now, I, now I'm a pop people who cannot sing. Cruel irony, isn't it? Indeed it is, my name. This is the fort. Welcome! If you want to go to the Royal Palace, you can't get there from here. Go to the train station instead. I know I'm almost ending up here. I'm just jumping around like an idiot.
Oh yeah, we'll come back to it later. We are off to the desert. At least the music came back. It was too quiet without music. Dun 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 dun. He jumped off to the desert. She's a very caring too. Just by the way she talks, I get the sense that she's generous and carefree. Mario, you do keep a good supply of items on hand, don't you? If you get attacked when you're when you have nothing, you'll be in a pretty tight fix, huh? My advice is whenever you're going on a long journey, you should stop by a shop shop and let up with the flies. There's Two Town Station. It's a station for the Dry Dry Road. And there you can take the train to Scenic Mountain Rugged. And there's also an oink growing farm where they raise little oinks. Raising little oinks cost coins. My dad said that there's a playroom here, but I don't see it. I know, we mentioned this last time. It can't work because Yuji's castle flew away. Oh well, I guess there's nothing to be done. The girls and I always wanted to go on a long trip. How lucky for us! At first I said let's not go because there's so much trouble going on, but... Eventually I came around. We're ready to roll, but now the train came in. Great! Our first stop is going to be the desert town. I wish we could go right now! It's turned one of the castle maids. Seeing that the castle's up and disappeared, I guess they decided to take a holiday. Traveling does have a way of refreshing the body and mind. It's doing one of the castle mates. They're all traveling together. They're quite good friends. I've never seen them before. It's one of the castle mates we know. She's always been very curious. I wonder what kind of trip they're taking. It's definitely not going to be as difficult as our journey, but I'm kind of curious. I love drinks, don't you? I'd love to come here and watch them come and go, but it doesn't seem to move at all now. It's really a lot more fun to watch it moving. The problem must be that gigantic rock on the tracks. I'm ruined! Turn four! A huge rock is rock a huge rock is blocking the train tracks. That's a tongue twister. When Peach's castle is one of the boulders from that stack rolled off and landed here. What bad luck! If we can't do something about that boulder, I can't make my run the mountain rugged. He's a station master to Dredger Road in Tow Town. The motto of Dredger Road is you're generous, polite, and safe. Yeah, that's catchy. I bet. Do your thing, girl. This toad never seems to leave the station. He loves trains and he makes excuses to travel all over. When he's not on one of his trips, he watches the trains at the station. Did I mention he loves trains? Yes. You're the best, Mario. It's nice to see the train up and running once again. It really wasn't a whole lot of fun watching it just sit there. Oh, thank you, Mario! The train's back on track! All aboard! This train is bound for Mount Rugged! Are you coming, Mario? We are indeed. The train is about to depart. Please board quickly. Sit tight, folks! Now departing for Mount Rugged! But wait, the the girls want to go too. Stop! Stop! Two words! Stop! 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 No. Ah. I know I didn't actually make a paint, but I don't really care about those things right now. I'm gonna get on the way back when I get my points. Dun 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 Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dar Dar Ruins. That slashing thing in the front is obviously a chain chomp. Long run, huh? Mount Rugged! Mount Rugged! Passengers heading for Dar Dar Desert and Dar Outpost should proceed directly from Mount Rugged from this station. Who are you, sir? He's the station master of the Mount Rugged Station. He looks just like the one in Tertown. Why is that? Is it because of his uniform or the pattern on his head? Pretty cool uniform, huh? This is the Mount Rugged Station on, on the Dry Dry Railroad Line. Not much goes around here on the Barren Mountain. Dry it. He hangs around this station all the time. He must like traveling by train, I guess. 
If you want to go to Dry Dead Desert, you have to hide over Mountain Rugged. Follow the arrows on the sideboard so you don't get lost. There are a lot of scary creatures around here. If you're not careful, you'll get hurt in a big way. If you think you're looking desperate, you better run away really fast. At least I would. This toad works at the local travel travel bleh, local travel agency. It's called Toad Town Tours. They like to personally inspect sites for future tours. I wonder what people could possibly want to see in the desert or on Mount Rugged. The train running again. Phew! About time. I can finally go back to Toad Town. This toad loves to study the creatures of the world. She's really into conservation. She doesn't want anything to become extinct. I saw a creature called a whack on Mount Rugged. It was extra cute. Save scene. Next episode 12 right here. Ah, no, confound it! Where could it be? Hey, we know you. Ouch, you knocked us out. Oh, sorry, folks, very sorry. I was looking for something and I'm not watching where I was going. What now? Aren't you Mario? Why you are! You're THE Mario! Hello there! The name is Tara Carey. I deliver letters. Um... I'm normally a letter perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with a lost letter. Wouldn't you know it? I dropped it on Mount Rugged and now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. He's Paracarry, a paratrooper who delivers letters. He's got the problems. It must be nice to have wings. You can fly anywhere. All postmen should have wings. You know, some people say that you help someone in trouble. Good things happen to you. You know, karma. What? You've never heard that? Slide down the road and get some coins. I needed some extra coins. We're gonna make a little wine and leave like well Xander did. Whoa! What the heck is that? We really need extra coins there. Monty Mall, I think. Yeah, it's Monty Mall. And it's knocked out already. Hmm. Let's saddle it. This is a Monty Mall. Monty Mall's a rock throwing mall. Big time mischief makers. Makes it through three attack power, two defense power, zero. Ugh, they have kind of scary looking faces. They're pretty weak though. Maybe they wear sunglasses because they have really sensitive eyes. Or maybe they're just hip. The world may never know. Ow! One more star point. Lovely, lovely. Give me that money. I need extra points. I need all the points I can get right now. That! Damn, Mo! Mo came out of nowhere and scared the shit out of me. Ow! Stop throwing things! <laughs> Refresh me! Refresh me now, sir! Max me out, sir! Max me out!
Very well, bitch. <laughs> Ooh, more items. Excellent. Ah! Oh, you're not even more. He's a whacker. When you hit whackers, they get bumps to fall off. I heard that they're yummy. You know, I'm not only into hitting whackers, but once I heard of the tasty ones, I got the urge to whack them. Wahoo! I'm Micah! Just another picture perfect day is out my nugget. Woo! The sunshine, the fresh air, so refreshing. Whack a doo! Sorry, dude, but I gotta whack you. Whack out! Don't hit me! Thanks for your yummy treat, sir. I'll be back for another one. I know I'm probably gonna hurt him a lot doing that, but I need as much health restorers as I can get right now. And he holds all the keys to it. I want to get another one, just in case. More than for right now. Waku! I'm Waka! Just know the picture for a day of Top Mountain Rugged. Woo! Of course, yesterday was also pretty nice. And he doesn't realize that it's still today, whatever. Go hit me! <laughs> Thanks for the second whack a bomb! Yee <laughs> hee! I'm whacking away! Whack, whack, whack! <laughs> I just whack him to death. Whack, 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 whack! One more star point. Excellent day. Oh, wait, not here. I actually leave and come back for him to come back. Dun dun, leaving and coming back for a third rock bomb. I know I can only get eight at a time, but I'm going to get as many as I can. Wakoo! I'm Waka! Just another picture for the top mount record. Woo! Of course, he was also pretty nice. Wakow! Don't hit me! But I like hitting you, sir! I like hitting your Waka bumps! <laughs> Focus! Focus me up! Good night, sir. Six more star points. Lovely, lovely! And more honey syrup, as if we needed any more. Check the time. Star points, lovely doubly. 
Now we have to whack a bomb with sell for. We don't want to sell it. We only get eight of these in the game, entire game. I mean, it could sell for a pretty hefty price, but still. Let's see what we get here. Oh, save block. Let's save and keep looking for that letter. Outside of our quits. Ooh, quick camera. And a litter. Excellent. That's what we need. Cooper, we need you, sir. Letter to Merlin in Toe Town. Excellent. Anything else I can do before I end this episode? Because we're already on 22 minutes here. There's a bull over there, but I can't reach him. Whatever that was, we got away from it. We got whatever we could reach for right now. So, for this point, we're gonna whoop, careful, that's a money wall. So for the moment, we're going to end it right here, guys. Hope you've enjoyed episode 12, got the episode number right, <laughs> episode 12 of Paper Mario for, for us, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Alright, this is Raven and I, signing off. Bye-bye.